Hey guys, it's Wisconsin Fishing HD here, and today I'm going to be talking to you um, about a company called Lucky Craft Lures. Um, they're actually called Lucky Craft USA, but they're not originally in USA. They're a Japanese company, and um, just like Jackal or any other Japanese company like Magbass, um, they have expensive lures. Um, every lure I have besides these two which costed twenty dollars each were all sixteen dollars which is quite a bit of money to pay for a lure but I'll tell you guys why I bought them and why if they don't do equal why they sometimes do better um, start off I'll show you guys some of their newer innovative designs that they've had um, these are their newer um, spinner bait slash jerk bait kind of bait this is pretty much the ultimate springtime bait right when that water is just nice and cold um, I have two of these um, I will also burn these in the summer just right over any kind of weeds or anything these also work great for that have the willows nice shiny um, I have this in the ghost ghost gill I think it is or I don't even know for sure and the aurora black that's probably one of my more favorite colors is the Aurora Black. Um, these are their 90s. They have two sizes in this. Um, I don't know for sure how long this one is. I'm guessing around 4 or 5 inches. Um, great baits. I really recommend picking up one. They are $16, which is expensive. Um, if you don't, I guess you could just use a spinner bait. But maybe it's a bait that you want to try. It looks really cool. Um, these baits are one of my favorite bait companies. Um, next we got the Lucky Craft Pointers, uh, the Live Pointers. These are jointed bodies, so they'll swim in the water, and um, they work exactly like a normal jerk bait would. They do have the flash tail, um, but that body movement, it makes it look exactly like a swim bait. It is insane in the water. All you have to do is just loosen this up a little bit, and it is insane. It's held up by um, sorry, a little bit of a glare there. I'll try to get in a little closer. There we go. If you can just see in the cracks there, it's held up by wire. Um, it's not too big of a deal to worry about. Um, I guess after a while it might get a little worn out, but at least these are great baits, and they do catch fish. Um, I will throw these two on spinning poles just because they are smaller. Um, I like to stay on the high side with all this for the line um, just because I don't want to be losing a $16 bait. It's not too good knowing that you just saved up $16 and then you cast it out and the line snaps. Not too nice. Um, next is their regular pointer. I think this is one of their most staple, like their biggest staple baits out there. Um, on the market by far, these are, in my opinion, these are better than the X wraps. The X wraps are the only two. These are the only two jerk baits that really compare for me. Um, the the one reason that I like these more than the X wraps is that uh, the square bill it gives it more of a different action, and that action is a lot more lifelike, and it's more jerking action. Um, their internal rattle system is also great. Um, it's, I don't know, I can't really describe it because I uh, haven't seen it like outside, but it's just more of a weird internal system. Um, the x -Rap does have the system where the balls run all the way back to the end, but I mean, that I do like that, but the rattle on this is really good. And it's that nice subtle sudden sound sometimes the fish don't want that I also have the pointer SP in the silent great color it gives off a ton of flash as you can see there um, my favorite color in all the lucky crafts um, majority of my lucky crafts are in this color right here American Shad it is so lifelike it's kinda hard to see there but there's legitimate skills on the body of this bait it is so nice just look at that. It is amazing glare. Um, these baits do give off a ton of action and a ton of glare, and they're really nice looking. Um, another one of their 
more popular baits are the their square bill or not square bills but their crank baits um i have this in the gds mini dr i forgot what the gds stands for i got this a while ago so i'm sorry that i don't remember um i know they make some circuit board lips one lipped ones um i got this one because great size for spring and when i'm casting from shore um sometimes the score bell won't get down to the bottom so i can get this bad boy down to the bottom uh the only complaint that i have is that the lip is very very thin right here i'm i'm a, might be afraid of this breaking kind of afraid of using this one all that much because i paid so much for it but it does have a great great scale pattern but maybe for you guys it does say something that you're too afraid to throw a bait that costs sixteen dollars and lose it maybe you guys don't want to spend that much money um i just had that money at the time and so that's why i jumped on the baits and bought them next probably one of their more top staple baits um is their top water sammy uh, I mean, sorry, the gone fish. Uh, I don't want to mix that up with Sammy. Um, I guess I'll do kind of a comparison to these two. Uh, this is the Sammy, more fat body, and this is the gunfish, more uh, tinier profile. Uh, the big difference between these two is the um, kind of a skirt, or not skirt material, but the hook material. This has the little bit of feather on it um and the body um for these two baits my personal preference is the sammy it walks just a ton just way more better it also has the small rattles in the head and the large rattles in the body it makes a great sound and it's just so highly um like technique on it like I mean not technique but like the however they built it was great because the rattle placement. but I also do like the gunfish it works just um just fine it pops a lot more this has a, um, a sudden little pop on it uh as you can see there it's just a tiny little lip so it gives off a sudden little bubble and I've gotten plenty of good uh, strikes and fish like this. I've also almost caught a musky on that bad boy. Um, yeah, so overall, Lucky Craft is a great company. I'd recommend it to most people. Some people that maybe can't afford it are like um, sticking with their brands. Um, I guess maybe this isn't the right bait for you, but I went ahead and tried it and I liked it. So yeah, that was kind of my uh, showing of my Lucky Craft lures and what I thought about them. See ya.